Here is a fraction game that we developed for Calculation Nation for NCTM. It's a game in which students will add fractions to try to make a sum of one. They take a fraction and put it into the launcher. They put it over a target fraction and drop their fraction on top. When they make a sum of one, they get the token that was underneath the target fraction. Then the computer takes a turn. By making it competitive, students will be motivated. They can think about different things they can do, so they're not only adding one fraction to another, they're looking at adding multiple sets of fractions. Here, for example, they know that 5 twelfths would help their opponent. They can't actually do anything on their own, so they're going to make 5 twelfths not usable for the opponent. They converted it into one quarter, and they also get new fractions to work with next time. So there's subtle things going on here. The representations, as students add a fraction to the launcher, they see the resulting representation with numbers. Students will learn both to add fractions with like denominators and with unlike denominators. A lot of thought went into how the computer would play the game, and we decided that as students get better at the game and their level goes up, the computer will play better. So at this lowest level, the computer makes mistakes. Here they're going to make a sum. They know that triangles are valuable. One of the strategies in this game is to prevent your opponent from making a sum of five tokens. So once the opponent gets five tokens, they would win. You can block that by winning some of the tokens that are the ones the opponent needs. There are many different strategies, and students will have to make choices. Here they can get a star, which they don't particularly need. It's just their best move. In other cases, they'll have choices between many possible good moves, and they'll have to decide which one to go with. One of the things that made the game powerful was to make it that if you add two fractions, you get two tokens. If you add three fractions and make a sum of one, you get three tokens. You'll notice that we made a decision to have all of the fractions be denominators that are factors of 12. So they can work with halves, thirds, quarters, sixths, and twelfths. They can convert everything in their head quickly to twelfths, and the kids who do that will be able to think strategically better than kids who do not master that skill. Students are actually subtracting in addition to adding. Here, they're taking two fractions now, and they'll put them into the launcher, and see that if the, after they put them in, they need just one more twelfth. That's in effect subtracting those two fractions from one. If you asked a teacher, could my student add two fractions and subtract it from one, it would certainly be a challenging problem. But the students are using the manipulatives to make the problems visual and help them get better and develop fluency in adding and subtracting fractions. I've spent a lot of time discussing the mechanics of the gameplay. And while that's important, I want to tell you something the designer of the game told me about that was even more important, and that was finding a satisfying mechanism for adding fractions. What is it that's enjoyable about adding fractions, he asked himself. He had a hard time answering that question. And what he came up with was the joy of putting together pieces that fit together perfectly to make a whole. We think we've done a very good job applying this in this game. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please take some time to go play the game on your own and then add your voice to the comments.